Hey guys, this is the key to the practice test that you should be correcting. I would suggest you get another colored pencil or a red pen or a marker or something so I can see the corrections that you've made. I'll have you grade it as you go. Excuse I'll wait for this. At this time, we will have a lot of Oh, are you control. kidding me? All right, and sorry. At this time, we'll have... So on the first one, remember to find the degree of a polynomial. We take the highest exponent if it's a polynomial in one variable. If there are two variables like this one, we add the exponents for that monomial. So the first one, 7x to the third, well, there is only one exponent, so that's a third degree. The next one, we have b to the second c cubed. So we add those. These are only worth one point in these two. Um, and number three might say, well, there is no exponent. Well, that means that it wasn't 8x to the first, it was 8x to the zero. Because remember last chapter, we said anything to the zero power is one. So this one right here would be to the zero degree. For the next couple, we are simplifying each sum or difference. Remember, you can only combine like terms. So we can either add the opposite for subtraction, or if you like to picture distributing the negative in, that's good too. So what we have here is 7x cubed minus x squared plus 4. We'd have a negative 3x cubed, a minus 4x squared, and a plus 2. And now when we combine our like terms on that, we've got our x cubes to here. We have four of them. So we have 4x cubed. We have our x squared terms here, which would be minus 5 of them. And then we also have our constants here, which would be 6 of them. This would be worth 3 points on a test, 1 per term. Number 5. We've got 2 u cubed b minus 11 u cubed b. Well, those are like terms. So we just do exactly what it says. And we do 2 minus 11 of them would give us a negative 9 of them. Remember, you, when you're combining like terms, the exponents don't change. For number 7, we've got a hexagon. You should draw one. Six sides. And they tell you that the perimeter is 30t plus 6. Important for these word problems for you to organize everything. Five sides have the following length. Well, let's go label them. We've got 6t. We've got 2t. We've got 4t. We've got 5. Oh, sorry. I didn't see the minus sign on that. So I'm going to erase this right here. Get it cleaned up a little bit here. This one, we've got 4t minus 5. It looks like on that one. Yep. 4t minus 5. And we've got a 10t minus 1 and a 5t plus 1. So let's go put those on there. And then we've got our missing side here. So what we need to do first is we need to add up all these sides that they gave us. And you can list them out. Or what I like to do is just go gather all my like terms as I travel around. I would have 6, 7, 8t's, 10t's, 15 t's, and 25 t's. So let's go add those up again. We've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17, 27. Sorry, we have 27 t's taken care of there. I'm going to write that down. And then with my constants, it looks like I've got minus 5 plus 1 for a negative 4, minus 1 again for minus 5. So in red is what I've already taken care of. So what I need to do now is take my perimeter and subtract off all the other sides, which was 27t minus 5. What that gives me is, let me erase this to get it out of the way, I've got 30t plus 6, and then I have minus 27t, and then minus a negative 5, if you think add the opposite, would be plus 5. So when I'm all done there, combining my like terms, I get 3t plus 11. So for number 6, 3t plus 11. And this is where you have you stop and star this one. Every one that I star, I would like you to do again on a separate sheet of paper. So that's kind of the extra part of this I was talking about. When I start, do it again on an extra sheet of paper. So now we're down to number 8. And that one, I believe, on the test, the one we just did there, would have been worth 4 points. But we don't need to grade it as you go. So product means multiply. So we're simply going to be multiplying. Alright, I'm back. We're in the middle of a lockdown drill there. 
So here we go. Let's distribute this in. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 7 is 14x. So the answer to number 8 would be 2x squared plus 14x. Number 10, again, just distribute, distribute, shoot your arrows in. Don't make any sign errors. Remember, we are multiplying. 4 times 2 is 8. x to the first times x squared is x cubed. Minus 28, x times x is x squared. And at the end there, we'd have a plus 20x. So 8x cubed minus 28x squared plus 20x would be the product of what you get when you multiply. Now, one thing to note with the um, multiplying is remember from chapter 7 that when you multiply, you add your exponents. But if we were adding those terms, they're not like terms, so we would not even be able to add them up. So kind of make sure you're aware of um, those exponent rules from chapter 7. All right, let's head on down to number 11 here. This is another one I'd like you to star. So we've got an artist making stained glass window, which is a green glass circle surrounded by blue glass. So this out here is blue. I'll put a B in there. And this in here is green glass. And it says that we are to find the side length of the window is shown right here, 20x. And because it's a square, you might want to go pull it on here. This is also 20x. And the area of the green piece is 50 pi x squared. So I don't even want to go put that in there. 50 pi x squared is the area of the green piece. We are to find the area of the blue glass. Well, you need to have a plan. To get in here to get the area of the blue, we're going to have to do the area of the square. And we're going to have to subtract or picture cutting out the area of the circle. All right? So area of a square is side squared, or you can even just think base times height. But for the square, they are both 20x. So there's my side times side, base times height. The area of the circle, you might be wondering, well, how am I supposed to know that? They didn't even tell me. They actually did right here. They said the green piece, which is the circle, its area is 50 pi x squared. So you didn't even have to work for that at all. So cleaning this up right here, we've got 20 times 20 is 400. x times x is x squared. And then we've got the 50 pi x squared that they gave us. And if you got that far, I would give you three out of four points. But take a look at what it says here. Write your answer in factored form. And remember, our number one rule for factoring is you need to see if there's a common term that can be yanked out of both of these. And you try to take out the biggest one. So for our coefficient, you can see that 50 goes into both of those. So I'm going to take out a 50. I can also see that both terms have an x squared in them. So I'm going to factor out a 50x squared. And then I need to put back in an 8 to get my 400. So again, if you shot this arrow back in, there's my 400x squared minus, and this one only needs the pi. So right here, and remember you can check that by just shooting your arrows back in. So the answer to number 11 is 50x squared times 8 minus pi. And it is done. All right, next one up. would be number 12, 13, and 14. Nice, easy table, distributive property, or foiling. And I like to foil, so that's what I'm going to use. That's what most of you have been using. So let's have at it first. Outsides, insides, and last. Negative times a negative is a positive. Combine your like terms, leaving x squared minus 7x plus 10. Next one up, first, 2x times x is 2x squared. Outside would be plus 10x. Inside, plus 4x. And my last terms, positive times a positive, would make plus 20. And we'd have 2x squared plus 14x plus 20. Next one. Let's say that this was a plus, just to, I think I put both signs on there by accident. So we have our firsts, 3x times 2x is 6x squared. Our outsides would give us a minus 21x. Our insides would give us a plus 2x. And our last, a positive times a negative, is a negative. So again, combining your like terms, we'd have 6x squared, negative 21 below 0, going up 2 degrees, brings me to 19, minus 7. All right, so next page, moving on to number 15 here. 
Um, this one would be a bonus problem, so I'm going to just leave that one off for now and come back to it if I have time. So down on the bottom here, let's go through them. This says simplify the product using the method of your choice. I would like you to star number 17. That's another one I want on another sheet of paper. Very common mistake in this is people don't expand it. So remember when you square something, you do it times itself. And then my choice is going to be foiling. I'd have x squared, outside, inside, and then my lasts. And then combine your like terms. So x squared plus 8x plus 16 would be the answer to that one. Number 17. And this would be one, again, I want you to have a blank sheet of paper out in the starred ones. You're going to pause this and you're going to do them twice. So again, make sure you remember to expand on these to avoid that very common mistake of missing that inside and outside terms. We've got 4x squared. Our outside is 10x. Our inside is also 10x. And our lasts, 25. So number 17 would clear, clean up into 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. Number 18, we've got going here, we've got 3x minus 6 times 3x minus 6, and you should write that out. 3x minus 6 times itself. That's what it means to square something, and again, we're just going to foil. 9x squared minus 18x on the outside minus 18x on the inside, and then my last terms a negative times a negative gives me a positive. So I have 9x squared minus 36x plus 36 would be the answer to number 18. And number 19, they've already got it written out here. So first, outside minus 5v, inside minus 5v. And you might have recognized that those are going to cancel without foiling, but I will foil it out anyway for you. So we end up with b squared. These cancel out minus 25, and that one's done. Number 20, my firsts. 2 times 2 is 4. p squared times p squared is p to the 4th. And then you'll notice again, my outside and my inside are going to cancel on this one. So I'm just going to do the lasts. 10 times 10 is 100. q times q is q squared. And we're done with number 20. Number 21 is another one that I would like for you to star and do again on a separate sheet of paper. And this will be the last one I do on this video. And then I'll link another one called part 2. So we're trying to find the shaded region, and we need a plan. And our plan should be that the air, we'll take the area of the large square, and we'll cut out or subtract the area of the small square. So let's go down here. Our large square is x plus 5 by x plus 5. So we're going to have to do x plus 5 times x plus 5. And our small square is x minus 2 by x minus 2. To avoid some sign errors, I'm going to give you a recommendation here. I would suggest you do that multiplying off to the side. So I'm going to take this x plus 5 times x plus 5. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to get off foil, which we do all the time. And we're going to end up with 10x in the middle plus 25 after foiling that. And I'm going to write that right here, x squared plus 10x plus 25. I'm going to do the green one off to the side also. So what I'm going to do with that is take my x minus 2 times my x minus 2, and once again, we're foiling. We'd have x squared minus 2x minus 2x, and then a negative times a negative would be a positive. And the reason I'm having you do this off to the side is because when you subtract, you've got to be very careful about putting the parentheses around here, which I think you'd forget if you didn't put it off to the side. And the reason it matters is because... I need to distribute this negative in, or you might think add the opposite. But either way, all these signs in here need to change with that subtraction. So I have my x squared plus 10x plus 25 from the large square, and I'm going to subtract off the smaller, which means I'm going to have a negative x squared, a positive 4x, and a minus 4. And I know some of you do the add the opposite. You'd get the exact same thing. You'd have a negative x squared, etc. So those are going to cancel. We have our 10x and our 4x making 14x's, and our 25 plus a negative 4 or minus 4 giving us a 21. All right? So that's the end of this video. You'll have to go back and log into part 2. This is part 1.